All right, quick video today. We have been getting a lot of questions from people that have some of the smaller uh, solar generators, right? And they're saying, hey, how come you're making all these projects where you can add battery to the bigger ones, sort of like the Blue Eddy and the EcoFlows, but the bigger ones, right? The Maxes and the Pros and the AC200s. What about us that have the little ones? Well, uh, it is easy to do it. So I'm gonna show you here how to add about 50% of more battery uh, to your blue, to their what? Blue Eddy EB1500, right? Uh, for about a hundred, probably 150 bucks with the cables and stuff, right? Uh, you will, there is a DIY project. So you will have to make one of these cables, at least for now. In the future, maybe we'll make these cables. We'll ask our supplier in China to, to make them, but that's gonna take a few weeks. But for right now, I'll just uh, give you the links where you can buy all this stuff and then you can solder these four into this one right here and then you could make it, right? So here it is. This cable goes here, right? And that converts it into this. This is called a power pole, uh, Anderson power pole connector. And then you go from power pole connector to these XT, 30 connectors, right? And these XT30 connectors come in these batteries. These are scooter batteries. They're $25, right? Uh, and they are nine bot uh, sc scooter. And those are the ones that were on the little stocks when on the scooters, right? Where the handles are at, these are internal batteries. They have 20 cells. They are 187 watt hours when you read here. Uh, so four of these will yield about 750 watt hours, right? So, uh, yeah, so just, you know, about half of this, right? So if you add four, you add 50%. If you add eight of them, then you add 100% more battery to your EB150. So you would make your EB150 into three kilowatt hours, right? It's competing with these guys. Uh, the bigger ones, right? And you could do that for about $200. So that's the reason why this is a really, DIY is the way to go because you can add battery super cheap, right? This is uh, for $100, $150, you could do that. And let me show you how to do that. You basically just connect them, connect this here. Well, what I'm gonna do is connect the batteries first. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. If you get some that are blinking red, which means is that they're not uh, at the same state of charge. So this one is fully charged and these ones are less than fully charged. So this one right now is charging all of these three. So that's why you got a green, a blue light, and then these ones are red. And red usually indicates that it's just being charged, right? So here we go now, but you can connect it here and all of a sudden uh, this one's gonna charge the three and then push power here. Or if that doesn't happen, then all four of them are going to push power into this. It'll sort itself out. You don't have to worry too much about the state of charge of these batteries. And then eventually, anyways, uh, they will sort themselves out. They will even out and it'll just work. You don't have to spend too much time thinking about that. You know, when you charge these, make sure you charge them and then, uh, fully charged, then it's gonna work better, right? Of course, so here we go. So you connect this here. Now the EB150, there we go. So 315 watts. I don't know. I think that's the max that this thing will take at 10 amps. Let's see how much these batteries are pushing. Yeah, so here we go, see? It's nine, 0.4 amps out of 10 amps that this input can take. So 300, 350 watts, that's the max that this unit can take. So you, we are maxing it out uh, with these batteries. And so it'll just charge. Right now, you can turn the AC on. And if you connect these, you're both can be charging and then discharging. So you can charge this unit as you're using it. Uh, you can even turn the DC on. So you can turn the whole unit on and do that, right? So that's how these batteries can help you boost the capacity of this guy, right? So 
you can just keep discharging it more than one uh, and a half kilowatt hours. In this case, it'll be somewhere around two, 2.2 kilowatt hours, something like that, right? But if you add more of these, then you can keep doing it even more. You just have to, uh, you can't do it at a faster rate than three point or 300 watts because this is the limitation that it's got on this guy right here. So that is one way. Now, how do you charge these? Well, you use one of these chargers and these come in all kinds of different uh, connectors, including the XT30 that are what these little batteries have. So if you do that, you'll have to charge e each one uh, separately. But if you get one that has this connector, then you can charge them all at the same time, right? It'll just take four times longer than if you're doing a single one. So there you go. This is a quick video. Uh, I will put the links to all of this stuff on the video description. Uh, and that's one quick way that you can add battery capacity to your Blue Eddy EB150 or the 240, because I think it's the exact same thing. It's just there, that battery is a little bit bigger than that. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.